Good morning, my classy, classy people. It's Wayne Bolden. It's Memorial Day weekend. It's Sunday morning. As always, please turn your closed captions on. Subscribe, ring the bell, do those things. Happy, happy Memorial Day uh, to each and every one of you. Doing a little cooking cooking out yesterday. so. But we wanted to at least look at the two grade one races. Uh, there's actually three over at Santa Anita. And I think we should do a small video at least to just make sure that we covered them. Well, the fifth race is the Gamely Stakes for three-year-olds and up, fillies and mares, going a mile and an eighth on the lawn for sure for 400000 The Gamely Stakes, it is race number five. It goes off about 6.12 Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to give you our top three picks in the race just, you know, so you can have something out there. And I think it should be a walkover if you ask. Maybe not a walkover, but again, the number three horse. Queen Goddess in the Gamely Stakes. Well, 9-5 to five only on the morning line. Uh, Queen Goddess, rightly so, has won 50% of her races. This year, five-year-old mare has won six races from 12 stars, two seconds, and one-third for three-quarters of a million dollars, 769000 It's that man, Mama, Michael McCarthy. What a classy dude he is. And he's hooked up with my boy, Louis Sias. Together, they're about 24%. Small sampling, about four or five times they've hooked up together. But again, anytime you got Louis Sias up, you're going to get a pristine ride. And this one appears to be the front runner in here in terms of being on the lead. Maybe Louis can rock these to sleep at 2 to 1 or 9 to 5. Queen Goddess don't need no int introduction. Again, trained by Empire Maker, I believe was trained by my guy Bobby Franco on the back end Grand Sire Lemon Drop Kid. So this one has all things uh, her way. Five-year-old, six wins, 12 starts, two seconds, one-third. Hello, hasn't run in 44 days after running six by nine. Uh, on April 15th, 44 days ago, in the Jenny Wally Stakes over at Beautiful Keeneland. Uh, it looks like the horse had some trouble at the start. Brush bump, pressed a little bit, and then just faded out. So we haven't seen a top effort from this horse uh, since January 28th, uh, having ran uh, one the uh, Pegasus World Cup Phillies and Mayor Turf Invitation at Gulfstream. So again, I like to bet Phillies and Mayors off of off races. In other words, not off of a top effort. So on April 15th is not an effort for this horse. You have to go back to January. I'll be pretty shocked if Queen Goddess isn't on top of her game, having not really run an effort since January. 44 days since the Jenny Wally, a couple workouts to her credit. I think this one's going to be extremely, extremely hard to beat in here. We like Queen Goddess, a whole, whole bunch in here for sure. But I tell you right now, she better be getting up because the number seven macadamia, well, it's five to one. I love that price on this one. The number seven's five to one? Please, I tell you right now, trained by that man, mama, the turf, the California turf master, not Chad Brown, but Phil um, uh, 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 Diamato. Wow, you know everything that Phil put on the turf turns to gold, right? Hey, listen, Phil DeMotto's a great, great turf trainer. Got Tiago in the arms. Hey, listen, Macadamia has four wins from 12 starts. Does that sound familiar as a hard hitter just like Queen Goddess? Not as good, 6 of 12, but 4 of 12 is awfully good. With three seconds and two-thirds, that's nine times in the money out of 12 starts and four of them are wins. This horse is by Hat Trick, who is bred beautifully by the back end by Northern and Fleet. This horse ran on April 30th in the Wilshire Stakes over at San Anita on April 30th. Back in 29 days, won that race. Tiago was in the arms. They went a mile. Now they're giving her an extra eighth of a mile. She's not a front runner, but she should be sitting in the catbird. I don't expect her to be wide at all. It's only a seven horse field, right? So by the time they hit the first turn, she should be over and in the second path or not maybe not, but should only be two off of the rail. So she shouldn't be wide. I think the number seven horse offers the best value in here for sure. And we love these two the most. The number three, Queen Goddess, right? And of course, the number seven. We think it's going to be hell on wheels in here for sure. And the old number five horse, uh, Vigalo, Vigalo, Vigalo. Right? I, I like this horse a bunch too. Five to two on the morning line. Well, again, uh, will I make her my third choice? I think I will. 
okay? Uh, I like the way this horse ran her last race. Uh, the number five horse uh, only has four wins from 12 starts only. That's just like macadamia, right? That's exactly right. Trained by who? Brendan Walsh. Simmer down. This is not a good dolphin horse, even though it's trained by Brendan Walsh. I like the number five. I hate the price at five to two. But I think, you know what, the horse made her four-year-old debut April 21st, now back in 38 days off in an allowance race by way of Ireland. She comes from overseas. This is her second U.S. race for sure. This Ireland bread should run really, really well. We'll make her our third pick in here for sure. I'm only going to give you three picks in here, but if you need a fourth one, look at the number six horse, right? Small field. We love the three horse. Uh, queen goddess we think we're gonna go gate the wire should smack these around for good i like this horse a bunch here and our second pick is macadamia the number seven who we believe is the value play in here and we round it out with the number five so for us in this year's gamely stakes three seven five in that order we'll box it up but we're going to bet a few dollars on the three horse to win hopefully we get nine to five or two to one and we'll key the three over the seven five and we'll throw the six underneath as well right we love the three horse here i do queen goddess we think she's going to win it all enjoy your memorial day weekend the gamely stakes grade one race five santa anita we think it's all about louis Saez and mike mccarthy with the number three horse we do the Queen Goddess. Stay classy, y'all.